you talked about rhythm being a key this Saturday against Colorado. Just uh, your thoughts on that as well, finding rhythm for this team. Yeah, well, rhythm's important. I mean, it was great today because we made the statement today was, you know, we had everybody out here, you know, and I think it's the first time because even when we had the one group together, the one day with Oba, you know, Ayani still wasn't back in the group. So it was the first time we had all the players out uh, and, and participating in training. So that was a good feeling. So some of the things we worked on today, I thought were good. You know, the timing was off a little bit, obviously, because, you know, the people are a little bit different. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was uh, it was enjoyable. The guys that are coming back from how, how much were they able to do? Uh, everybody pretty much did everything. You know, we held Oba for a little bit. I uh, just wanted to make sure he was okay, but then we put him into the 11 v 11 as well at the end and had him go full out and the goals in tight. Uh, so, er, you know, now it's just a matter of how people respond tomorrow. But, uh, you know, Eddie came out, a few guys came out and trained yesterday, even though it was an off day. Uh, so Eddie was one of those guys, Brad's. Uh, uh, feels fine at this stage as well. You know, Patrick Gaoni's uh, very close, maybe just lagging behind on fitness a little bit, but everybody's everybody's pretty close right now. By week, next week, factor into things at all, saying, you know, maybe we could get guys two weeks if we maybe hold them off? No, no, we held Brad out last week because we wanted to make sure that we didn't throw him back into it. So uh, at this stage right now, uh, you know, it shouldn't affect anybody you know uh, per se but that's still something you know we've got to talk about and see how guys recover from today see what their numbers look like Brad had said that you know he's ready to go and you kind of indicated that you know you didn't want to push him last week but he should be okay now yeah yeah he's fine looking at the Colorado team kind of looks like a different group than the one that you guys faced last year yeah, they've definitely changed. I mean, they uh, uh, last year they were maybe a little more trying to be a uh, interpassing team, a little short passing team, building out of the back, possession orientated, coming that way. And now they've just gone big and strong, you know. And they got guys like Atiba Harris out there in Buttle, and uh, you know Deshaun Brown, the rookies, got you know good pace. He's you know decent size, not as big as the other two. And then they got. You know, the new left fullback's just a big, strong guy as well. They got Henry Thomas in the middle of midfield, another big, strong guy. You know, Dylan Powers, another big guy. So, you know, I think they've got a lot of guys that are six foot or bigger in their starting lineup. So they've definitely become a lot more direct, uh, you know, playing a 4 2 3 1. And, uh, you know, and they just try and get after it a little bit more than last year. It's not as much uh, uh, short build up out of the back. It's a weird playing that team without Omar Cummings and Connor Casey. Well, that's worth seeing him, but, you know, it always, you know, teams go through evolutions, teams go through changes, and Oscar's now in his second year, so he's putting his stamp on the team. I mean, he's uh, obviously adjusted his, his philosophy from what he felt uh, would be successful last year, and, uh, you know, their last two games have, have been have been good results for them, so I'm sure they want to build on that. Josue Martinez, can you maybe, I mean, what you maybe see, is he something that you think might be able to help this team, or just kind of take it away? Well, well, we liked him when he played with Saprissa. He played against us with Saprissa when we were in the Champions League. And, uh, you know, Philadelphia had him and New York had him, and, uh, and they let him go. And so we felt this was a good opportunity to look at him because uh, we also had two reserve games. Uh, you know, one we just played, and we got one coming up on Tuesday. So we felt we could give him a good look, and then we'll make a decision at that point. Colorado's got a bit of a youth movement going on, some homegrown players and draft that are inserted rapidly in not much. I mean, we've seen him play. You know, we've seen O'Neill play. You know, Deshaun Brown. We've seen play. You know, between the combine and and obviously in the league games so far, they've played enough games. So uh, you know, it, it none of those guys represent anything or Dylan Powers that <coughs> that the team will not see beforehand or or that we as as a staff don't have an idea what what they're all about. What were some of the standouts that you heard from Ezra regarding the reserve game? Uh, you know, I mean. Uh, I'm not going to name individual names uh, on that. You know, I mean, Ezra talked to me about who he thought played well. Obviously, it was good to get a goal from Zavaleta. You know, we played him up front, and we've been going back and forth in terms of defense or forward. But right now, I think it's probably more forward uh, for him. Uh, and, uh, you know, there were some good moments uh, in the game. Birch had to play a little bit of midfield and in the, and in the back and show that he was able to handle both. So that was good.
Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app, featuring live audio, match day blog, and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at soundersfc.com mobile.